Hello world, I'm a cop. Welcome back to Not Explorers International Society with the Emperor's Challenge DLC. We are playing a, well, mostly an aggressive team made of Earl, Pedrinho and Yvonne and we are doing the Emperor's Challenge here so we're gonna try to get Expert Engineer. We're trying to get True Grit and well, at this point we're looking for to collect some encounters and uh, try to be famous for as our like secondary goals here. And right now we're gonna head to the Memphis Desert so let's uh, just uh, go. Oh no, he got more things here! Oh no! Ah, the Egyptian desert. Yvonne is already complaining about being thirsty. Earl sighs and checks the map you got from the Round Explorers International Society. Earl determines the location of the Temple of War. By chance, a British expedition passes you. The leader of the Karen approaches you with enthusiasm. Ah, another group of fine explorers. Be careful not to dry out in the desert. Visit an oasis to replenish your supplies. He hands over a map of all the oases. Earl accepts the pamphlet. Well, there's one right there. Hmm. When the British investor disappears, Earl rallies the crew. It's time to start this adventure in the desert. Okay, retriever of treasure. <laughs> okay. But I hate the fact that there's a two cost move here, but I don't want to just go there. So let's start with this. Oh, bugger! So we lost four supplies. We could have done this without losing any supplies, really. Ah, uh, after a while in the desert, you finally see an oasis on the horizon. Visit the oasis. After a long, hard struggle through the vast, hot desert, you finally reach an oasis. There is a lake with some fish, a date, palms, plants, and a few other people who are resting here. Everybody in the Earl is going to refill their water for the journey ahead. What will Earl do? Well, Earl, check if there are nutritious plants, since that seems to be your best chance for things. I was really hoping we could have used Pedrinho for this kind of stuff, but uh, apparently not. Earl notices many nutritious plants that can be kept with your, you for months. There are even some rare plants that can be used for study. See what the others have done. Meanwhile, the other crew members have refilled all the water canteens the crew has. Time to continue. Great. Okay, so Earl, we need four more XP so that we can give you the sixth level of engineer and then... If it goes like we need to get level 7, then I, that's, I don't think that's something we can even do. Well, there's a zero cost move. I want to do the zero cost move just to see what things are there. I also want to go here for something odd, because something odd is usually good. Star night. The crew is relaxing at night, looking at the star. It's pretty cold out here, but the campfire provides some heat. Then something happens. The camp is being raided by bandits. The battle between the crew and the bandits is fierce, but then someone makes a heroic move. Oh, uh, did we get tactics or... Athletics from this. I don't remember. Let's have Pedrinho do something amazing. In the heat of the battle, Pedrinho turns the tables. Comes with new guerrilla tactics, cruise defenses, bone shattering smash. Should we give him the bone shattering smash? Yeah, let's give him a bone shatter shattering smash. A bandit on a camel comes charging towards Pedrinho. Somehow, However, Pedrinho stands firm, prepares and delivers a devastating strike with a bandit. A smashing! The bandits are so intimidated that they decide to run for it. Victory! Ooh, Starry Night. <laughs> Yvonne's face is in papers all over the world. Even here, some locals have heard about her amazing stories. She praises Earl and the crew for their hard work. The locals are very impressed by your camaraderie... 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 For some reason, I, just, I, I cannot parse this word in my head. Camaraderie. And one decides to follow Yvonne as a journalist as well. The French <laughs> will <laughs> the, the mommy joins our entourage. Stop! Stop! Okay, so maybe we should do some encounters just to get some encounter tokens. Uh, I'm gonna do the zero cost move and then you hope that it doesn't cost us any supplies. Because some. Okay, it didn't cost us any supplies. Good. There'll be a zero cost thing there, but those cost two. Okay, we'll go back to here. It wasn't gonna say zero cost. No, one cost here, but it would cost two to get here. Okay. We wanna do some encounters, so let's go do some encounters. Ooh, zero cost move there. As you walk through the desert, you see a British treasure enthusiast being followed by some female companions walking desperately toward you. One says, calling his bear, he asks you, Good day, sir. We are currently traveling toward one of the British digging sites, but we have run out of supplies during our travels in the vast, dry desert. Could you please spare us some? Uh, let's just reject him in an intimidating manner. You deny the enthusiast your supplies. The enthusiast tells his friends to annoy you, hoping to crack you and that they will hand over the amount of supplies he demands. Show your worth! A friendly or aggressive mood switcher again. Switch the mood three times. So we want to start friendly. Then uh, oh, there's only three of you. Okay, let's uh, 
let's 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 see what we can do here. Uh, right, you have only that. Wait, I'm confused. Earl, why don't you have your fifth move yet? Weird. Well, but then you start by exciting Ivan. Then we're gonna wait for those guys to come closer. No, you're. You're using my tactic there, eh? <laughs> okay, uh... Earl! Come here! Try to impress... Her... Uh, we wanna... End... With... Uh, aggressive... Pro no, we wanna end this friendly! Oh, How's that gonna work? Uh, well, let's see. Yvonne! Oh, you can't really get very close. You can't even attack. Well, that means that Brino, you're gonna come here and kick her. Okay, then we're... Now we're hostile, which is not good. Oh, okay, this guy can't get to us. Then we'll go for Devious, after which we'll start trying to be friendly again. Money! And I just love the voices in this game. <laughs> They're so awesome. Okay, Earl, come here. Do this. Yeah, I, I can understand the fact that you're confused because what, 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 what? How is he annoying you by telling you about uh, explosives? Oh no, he fumbled. No, that's not allowed. Oh crap! I should have moved Ivan first because Ivan could have gotten here. Well, Yvonne, can you... Okay, you can group insult, so do that. <laughs> that will put us to Devious, which switches the mood for a third time. We get the bonus. Good. And now we're going to try to go for friendly, so we can get the encounter token, which is what we're trying to get. Okay, we'll start with Earl trying to impress this guy. Okay. Good job, Earl. Then, Pedrinho, you can actually, let's see. Yes, you can teleport through enemies with this. Oh, he's, ooh, crap. Uh, Pedrinho, I think you just had to get a run away. And Ivan, you came here and impress this guy some more. Yeah, he was uh, immune to being excited, and but that's the only thing Pedrinho can do friendly is excite. So we gotta deal with him with these guys, and uh, I mean, it's not gonna be a problem because money. he's just gonna give us some money! Ooh. And then we're gonna impress him, and we'll end this friendly, which will give us one extra encounter token, which we're looking for right now. Petrino gets some extra speech things. The British treasure enthusiast is not able to convince you and he apologized for the inconvenience. I humbly apologize for my behavior. I will put in a good word for you at the, to all the other travelers I encounter. Great, continue. So we got... Oh, don't get treasures! Okay, we, zero cost. I'll just, we'll just go and see what's there. Please don't cost supplies. Did not cost supplies. Okay. That, ooh, there's another zero cost move, but no, we're gonna go for the encounter. If we could just find a treasure, it would be very nice. Uh, how much XP does Earl have? 16. It's one of those boring days of sand, sand, and more sand. Suddenly, some buried scorpions appear out of the sand. They seem to make room for another scorpion. Let's see what happens. You wait impatiently. Why do you wait? For, for the last enemy to dig itself out. Suddenly, a red stinger appears, followed by the complete body of a red scorpion. Emotion spreader. Get four opponents in the impressed emotion. I was kind of more like hoping to... Uh, okay, uh, this pulls aggro, right? So if we go... Oh, it doesn't... Pulling the aggro doesn't really help here, actually, though. Uh, okay, we gotta use the impress. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can do this. We're just gonna have to... Remove attacks. Okay, uh... We don't... 
Why? Why? Oh crap! Why? Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah, <laughs> uh, this might end badly. No, wait, no, it's not gonna end badly. We're gonna try to impress that one. Okay, we get another one impressed. Then we are going to kick this scorpion. Uh, I should have gone to that square. Now they have like three squares they can attack us from. Well, they can attack three people and uh, only one they can attack twice is Pedrinho, and he's got the greatest grit. Uh, okay, we might... We might allow Rivalo to win this one. Oh, most definitely we're gonna allow Rivalo to win this one. If they need to be in that... At the same time, that's not gonna happen. Okay, party time, I think. Yeah, let's party time here. And then we are going to experiment here. Now, we might lose Pedrinho here. Or one result from Pedrinho. Because this last scorpion might just come and attack Pedrinho and might do enough damage to kill him. Or Earl, whichever he decides to attack. Okay, Earl, so we're gonna lose... No, oh. <laughs> That was close. Oh, the poison! You guys aren't weak to anything, but you got less armor, so we're just gonna have to attack you. Oh, no, 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 no! We can't go on Earl's. Well, actually, what we can do is we can revive Earl, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you still got the poison on you, even though you just get revived, so. Shoot that. Yeah, Rival is gonna get that point. But, like, there's nothing we can do. We could not get those all into being. Like, we could have if we'd really, really tried hard, but we would have died. And Earl got the level. Nice. The red scorpion digs himself back in, and the remaining scorpions soon follow. At least now you have something to talk about during the remainder of this boring sandy day. Great, continue. And we got enough of those. Good, what's the next one? Wits Explorer. Is it a witch challenge on... Well, yeah, we are on that. Oh, and we're going for... Oh! Oh! So nice. Okay. You gotta get this. And what is this? Strike of Fear. Range, point, about three tiles. Target becomes terrified if it's negative, you give him a monster effect. Affects enemies within target line. Stuns non bus characters. Oh, right. This is the stun thing. And. Get. Expert engineer. Now. Are you next going to ask us for a le level 7 engineer? Uh, we cannot get. I didn't think there's any way for us to get Earl to level 7 anymore. So that means we're going to lose those points through below at some point. Which is kind of annoying. Well. We'll go here for the treasure and the wits challenge. Oh, more treasure. A private British expedition force. They're pos in possession of a full set of canopic charts. A piece that would be better off in a museum than a private collection. The investor spots you. Can I help you, dear travelers? A cup of tea, perhaps? Uh, s we got to convince them one way or another. Engage. Uh, let's, see. let's see if someone needs to talk with the investor. What's the chances here? 9 to 6. Sure, let's just roll for it. Don't always have to fight. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, Ivan. With a lot of flattery, Ivan persuades the investor. The investor blushes. Well, of course, I want the whole world to see my achievements. And yes, I did trim my mustache today. Thanks for noticing. That's when, sadly, a less pompous advisor approaches the investor. The talks are going well. The advisor returns to the investor. I know these people, sir. They do not have good reputation. There's no good reason to entrust our treasure to these people. You have to come up with something impressive fast. Uh, you know what? Let's just use this here and have Pedrinho make up an impressive lie. Should have probably saved the tool for the Red Pyramid, though. Huh. Pedrinho makes up a story with some false documents. You have been sent here by none less than the Queen. The expedition force fall and quickly hands over the canopic charge to Pedrinho. Success! So, two discoveries or collects and studies. Collects and studies, discoveries. Let's, you know what? I want to get money 
as much as possible. So let's take the thing that gives us money. Ooh, we got that one as well. Nice. Right, Miss or Mrs. Rescue Collector. Oh, now we need to get studies. Hmm. Well, there's this one cost move compared to these two cost moves. So we'll go here for the possible supplies first. The crew feels the sun burning on their skins. Everyone is exhausted by the heat and it seems like every step is heavier than the previous one. Earl mentions he hears the jingle of an ice cream truck. Sounds like he suffers from a heat stroke and has become delusional. Am I delusional too? It seems like I hear a familiar voice. Then a girl with a breathtaking smile appears out of nowhere. Hey Pedrinho, you're probably wondering how your big sister ended up here. Well, I figured these people could do some fun in this tiresome desert. I'm selling ice cream to make this dull place more festive. Sis? Pedrinho is happily surprised. Alongside exploring the world, his sister is a party girl and always brought him to the best parties. Hey bro, do you remember the time in Rio you went out partying dressed like a... Pedrinho quickly interrupts his sister before she finishes her sentence. Ah, this is embarrassing. The crew would love to stay and hear more humiliating stories about Bedrinho, but regularly it's time to leave. They all get a free ice cream from Bedrinho's sister and continue their adventure through the desert. The crew never knew Bedrinho had such a cool sister. Goodbye, Bedrinho. Let's go soon to a let's go to let's soon go to a party together. Oh, we get a festive hat. Adjacent opponents gain minus ten will gain the Beguiler charms. What in the world? What, this is a trinket. Oh, you already have Beguiler Charms, but yay. Minus 10 speech at chance opponents. We're gonna keep that. Okay, and then we'll head to the Red Pyramid. After navigating a particularly tenacious sandstorm, the crew finds something fantastic. The puzzling Red Pyramid of Sneferu. It's said to be notoriously dangerous, but uncovering its secret is every explorer's dream. Explore the Red Pyramid! As you approach the pyramid, you encounter an unpleasant surprise. Cassandra Shafiq, the Egyptologist from Willow's group. You distinctly remember each other from your encounter in the Highlands. Oh, honorable member of the Round Explorer. It seems to be made it pretty far, no? No, thanks to you. She continues. It matters not, yes? The treasure found in this pyramid are for me and Rivolo to take, yes? Rivolinis, keep them out while I go explore this pyramid. Cassandra enters the pyramid while you're stuck with her henchmen. Rivolinis. What a ridiculous name for henchmen. Oh, we couldn't even talk them out of this. Okay, pain bringer. Deal at la least 75 attack damage. Where's Ivan? Ivan's there. Okay, Ivan. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Group insult. Like they are slightly immune to it, but it does not matter because why we did that is the very simple reason that it re reduces their armor. Wait, don't you reduce the armor as well? Oh, it's only for the enraging that does that, right? Oh, I think Charles had a special ability for that, that... Yeah, this is powerful, actually. Well, let's see if we can do the amount of damage needed. Do we have... Can we encourage? No, we don't have any encouragement. Uh, minus... Okay, if we let this be on cooldown for long enough, it might do more damage. So let's see, how much damage? 69. Okay, so what I think we have to do here now is we have to run. Just run from these guys. Until we have the plus 75% strength, seven, yeah, 75% power on this experimentation, which brings, uh, like, that's 115% of attack power, which is more than what we need. So, what are you guys? You're gonna be. Let's just put Pedrinho here as a blocker. Fumble. Nice. Oh, you're just making him happier. Uh,. That's fine, so we're at... Nah, let's just start running. Pedrinho, you run all the way here. Uh, does this... No, that's just regular enraging. Oh, you could get all the way here. Oh no. Well, Pedrinho can heal her. So, Yvonne, you come here. Trino, come here, heal her. Oh, yeah. Earl, where's experimentation? Plus 50, right? Well, you run here. We'll keep Ivan safe. Earl's got the best speech defense in our group. A uh, fumble is the best thing ever. Okay, now this is at, yeah, the thing it should be. So if we do right, ooh, do right is not something we want to do here. What about try to enrage? Yeah. Wait, why did you ride? Holy crap, the amount of difference in power there. Da, 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 da. Oh. 
Okay, and Earl experiment. That made no sense whatsoever. The power for this was at plus 75%, wasn't it? Did I just misread? Well, this is already at plus 75, so this should have been a plus 75% as well. How can it do less damage when it's doing 111% of the attack? Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna have to ha have Earl attack her again and hope that we just roll better. Actually, can you get to this square? Well, that's a lot better. Wow. All right, because she might have had less armor than the other guy. Of course, should have checked that too. With those Rivalinis taken care of, you are free to enter the Red Pyramid. Sandra already has a head start though. Can we up, uh, level up Pedrinho here? I'd really like to. Cooking. Oh, you already have cooking. Well, damn it. How are we going to give you more grit now? Well, we're going to have to give you Beguiler. Astonishing Beguiler. Give... Oh, we can't unlock it right now. Damn it. Well, great. Continue exploring. The crew is inside the pyramid. Others have tried to pass this pyramid, but they never got far. You are in the first room. It seems like Sandra noticed you coming. The path forward is blocked by a limestone plate. You could push the heavy thing aside, but an athlete rush might also do the job. Pedrino, try to bash it. 80% chance. Come on, 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 come on. No, 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 no! Pedrinho thinks it's possible to shatter the slab with bare fists, but when the punch connects, you can hear some of Pedrinho's bones break. The crew pushes the slab aside, but Pedrinho is injured and we lost some ground in Cassandra. The crew carries on through the musty halls to find the fabled chamber of hieroglyphs. Switch with hieroglyphs. Switches with hieroglyphs are everywhere, each switch representing a notable achievement on the Egyptian civilization. A way forward is, as you expected, absent. Cassandra must have passed through here just a second ago. Look around for clues. If you you find a message inscribed on the wall, if you want to visit my tomb, pay respect by listing my achievements. Great. Uh, we don't want to lose another result, so let's just look for the switches pressed by Cassandra. You decide on a pretty smart move, looking at which switches have recently been pressed and are free of dust. With some investigation and a little bit of luck, a secret door opens. You are losing ground on Cassandra, though. The crew goes down a long, long hallway. It has abrupt corners and goes down pretty consistently. The crew tries to make haste to catch up Sandra. The crew takes a final corner and then sees a closing door! Crap, we're gonna lose two resolve. A massive stone door is sliding down. Sandra must have triggered something to seal off the tomb. You gotta hurry if you wanna get in the Pharaoh's chamber. Oh, crap! Oh, crappity, 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 crap! We're at one resolve! The door closes just before the crew arrives. There is no way you can blast your way through the massive wall and still there be in time to stop Sandra. You have no choice but to return. Bugger. With that, your adventure in the Red Pyramids come to an end. The secrets are for Rulo's crew to explore. Better luck next time. Okay, yeah. No, don't, don't get that. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Petrino, you have survivalist cooking already, so we're gonna give you Big Geiler Astonishing instead. Uh, I mean, it gave you one grit. How are we gonna give you four more grit? Oh, well, we're gonna have to buy the bigger boots. I just heard a noise from somewhere here as well. Uh, hmm. Well, we got food there. We also got food there. So maybe we go like one, two. Ooh, zero cost things. Ooh, let's go there for zero cost moves. And nothing of interest over here. Ooh, campfire. Oh, campfire. Lovely. We have this. We're going to do this for sure. Scavenger. Choose one level. Select plus one. Plus one. Survivalist spins. That sounds really good. But yeah, we're going to take the resolve here. The crew spends the night opening up and sharing stories about their past. Everyone's a little bit anxious to solve vulnerability at first, but everyone reacts very supportively. In the end, they all feel a little bit closer to each other. The night strengthens the crew's resolve. Stop getting better at that. Right, we'll go. Yep. Oh. The obelisk treasure thing. The heat is unbearable. You are forced to wait in the shade and use some supplies. Between her survival skills, find an effective alternative. Nice. Okay, come on, give me extra grit, extra grit, extra grit, extra grit. Yeah, to increase someone's grit. Yes, yes, yes. Pedrinho. Right on. Gonna get. We might never get to 80. We're definitely not ever getting to that. So, 
mm, don't know if like we might just not end up winning this after all the crew finds some materials can be used to create some helpful gears and tools the materials will also just be studied oh now we get tools damn it Earl has a stroke of inspiration on how to use those British leftovers in just the right way. The result is some valuable experience and an excellent tool. Your next challenge will be much easier because of this tool, but it can be used only once. Well, luckily we got it just before getting to... Oh, there is a zero cost move there as well. Well, yeah, let's go test to here first. While walking in the intense heat of the desert, you see a needle on the horizon. You decide to make a small detour to explore the needle further. Once you're close enough, you see that it is an ancient obelisk. Upon closer inspection, you notice some strange hieroglyphs. Earl mentions the possibility of entrance within the vicinity of an obelisk such as this one. What will you do? Okay, we're gonna use uh, the tools here and study the obelisk's hieroglyphs. Okay, good. You study the obelisk and very soon you discover the location of an entrance under the sand. The hieroglyphs also tell this the tomb of Pharaoh Seth Meribol. We'll take the collect- yeah, we just want the money because- we used our the reason I'm taking trying to take so much money is because we used our research to open up that extra shop. So we want to use that extra shop, that's for sure. As you walk through the entrance, you notice some pottery and take what it is what is in there. Continue. You are on a small hall with corridors both left and right. What do you do? Let's take I remember last time I went here I went left because I always follow the left hand path, but so let's take the right this time. You take the right corner and enter a room with high ceiling. You see a food platform sticking out of the walls. Uh okay. Let's not use any resources. Let's take the left corridor. Okay, so we gotta fight some mummies. Okay, that's fine. Fighting mummies is not gonna cause us to lose resolve, and it will give us an aggressive encounter. Mind binder. 70, 70 speech damage to a single target at once. Okay, so Ivan's got most of our speech. That's is for sure. So, guys, oh, you have. All right. So, Earl, we need you to try to impress this one okay good and Ivan okay does any of this do more 125 percent speech right come on come on it's gotta be it's gotta be enough damage 69 no <sighs> oh, oh, I know how we're gonna do this. I know how we're gonna do this. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Pedrinho, we need you to. I don't know. Come here. Excite, Ivan. Oh no, why does Pedrinho have damage? Oh crap, something happened that I didn't realize that gave Pedrinho damage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, no, we don't have. No, no, no. Come on, Pedrinho. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, thank you, Pedrinho. Come on, another dodge, another dodge, another dodge. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. dodge. No. Well, that means we're gonna have to have Pedrinho run, 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 run. Okay, these guys can get to her. Right, so she's excited. Earl, run here. Try to impress this. Oh, but... No, a fumble, damn it. Ah, uh, well. Because, yeah, of course, this is on cooldown now as well. 42. Oh, okay, so we need to put you right there, adjacent to that guy, then attack with that again, see if we do enough damage. Okay, miss. Very nice, super nice, this misses. Earl, we don't really care about the fact that you take some damage. Why do you go sad from a hug? Because uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Earl here and have Petrinho heal him. Then we're going to try. Uh, I mean, we'd rather end this friendly than devious, so we'll just see if we can do more damage with this. 75! Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, but we want to end this aggressively. Well, we're just going to start punching this guy, this last mummy, next turn, so it's going to be fine. Yeah, we just got to keep healing Earl. Okay, Yvonne, come here. Whip. Whip it. Whip it good. Okay, that makes us aggressive. 
How many points do we have? Three points. In friendly, we have three point five points on this one attack. Should actually put us to aggressive. Yeah. Okay. 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 Junior gets extra stuff, that's very good. You saw the mummy problem. You hear something moving in the hole. Raid, continue. So, take the corridor forward. After your trials and tribulations, you arrive in the room of the pharaoh. There are all kinds of pottery, mummified animals and hieroglyphs, but what immediately grabs your center is the scepter of the pharaoh's tomb. I mean, of course, we're gonna take the treasure. Ooh, and more gold from collects. Yes, please. You take the scepter, but as you do so, you hear the door behind you closing slowly. Run and try to get before it closes. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, guys. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, thank you. You run as hard as you can, carrying the scepter in your hands. Petrinho reaches the door first and tries to lift the door to buy some time. Eventually, everyone makes it out in the nick of time. Go back. You walk all the way back to the entrance of the obelisk. Yvonne gazes at the entrance and all the secrets it contained. Continue. Oh. A wits explorer thing. Well, let's go. Let's go here for the zero cost. A group of Egyptians crosses your path. One of them seems to be a journalist who wants to cover a story in the south. Now is your chance to impress these good people for a good story. Well, Yvonne, just uh, roll for it. You seem to have the best chance, even though your reward was the smallest. Come on, good job. Impressive. With some well-placed compliments in a telling story, Yvonne convinces the journalist to write a big article on you. You can see it already. Earl leads explorers to uncover Egyptian secrets. Okay. Back here for the zero move. Retrieve our treasure. Well, we're gonna get treasure from there for sure. Okay, go for supplies. After a while in desert, you finally send oasis in the horizon. Visit the oasis. You arrive at the oasis and prepare to refill all the water canteens you have. Around the oasis, you see groups of locals, nomads, and groups of British excavators. What will you do? Well, let's approach the British. Earl realizes explorers and the British excavators and always go hand in hand. How will you approach them? Let's convince them to give us their supplies. You ask the British excavators for some supplies, but they do not take kindly to that request. Show your worth! I was expecting us to be able to uh, steal the stuff from them because we have one rogue. So, mood switcher. Well, we probably want to do what we did last time as well. Go from friendly to hostile to devious. So... Pedrinho, Pedrinho, Pedrinho. Oh. Okay, if that's the case, then let's not do it that way. Uh. Hmm. Well, okay, 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 okay. Better to go this way, most definitely. Yeah, you want go here. Aim press her. Yeah, so we're friendly. Good. Petrino. Run here. Earl, come here. Petrino. Kick her. And then Earl, start. Yeah, start the deviousness. You know, maybe he, like, makes such a raucous, like, he. <laughs> that looks good here. Uh, oh, you need to be adjacent? Interesting. Yep, nice try. Yes, truly. Okay, uh, what if we put Yvonne here and do a group insult? Towards these guys. <laughs> then we're gonna have Petrinho try to enrage her. Come on, Petrinho, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Thank you. Oh. After which we're gonna have Earl do Ooh, strike of fear or experimentation. Experimentation doesn't take anyone down. So let's do the strike of fear. Move a little bit and do the. Oh, can't move. Okay, come here and do the strike of fear. Okay, stat stuns, so this guy can't do anything. And next turn we're just gonna start punching them. 
Ooh. That's not good. I was like, why is your speech then so low? Because we got this thing going on right there, that's why. Okay, uh, Pedrinho. You cannot take her down. Okay, we can't take her down in one hit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, can we deride her? No, what about Sad? Okay, we can use Sadden to get her down. Oh! Did not think enough. I should have put Yvonne over here. And then I should have run Pedro here. Like, well, like I'm doing right now. But, Earl, Earl, you just gotta run away. I mean, seriously, you just got to. I mean, he can take either one of these guys down in one go. No matter how much money he's trying to give us. So we'll see. Uh, do we have like a... Oh, this shouldn't kill him. Oh, killed. Damn it. We would have gotten one more point in aggressive if we that hadn't killed him. And I'm not sure if we went to all the way to aggressive. Yeah, I didn't go all the way to aggressive. So, But if... Oh, Petrinho get this. That's plus five grit. Which is very, very good. Oh, we need four more grit somehow. It seems you were very persuasive. They give some some of their supplies and leave. You check how many supplies you have and leave before any more British come. Don't go for that. We can't get there ever. Uh, more rogue or more beguiler. And we started you on the rogue path, so let's keep you on the rogue path. Go here. Nothing here. We'll go here. Oh, come on. Just stop collecting those things. Okay, nothing here. We will go here. Nothing here. So, no, stop. Uh, wait, why is that the money thing? Let's go check out that money thing. Everyone is growing weaker. Oh no, when the Gru is another hill to climb, they all lose open his address. This cost you some supplies. I was thinking. No. Wait, you managed to do that already. Damn it. So, do we even get supplies from here? The shopkeeper walks in us. How can I help you? Okay, let's look at the equipment on sale. There are several pieces of traditional equipment. Uh, huh. Interesting. Oh! A scimitar gives plus 10 crit. That would have been so nice. Well, we'll buy Pottery of Tutmos the Third, which is a minor treasure. Well, it gives us two supplies as well. And we are, we'll take the money. Right, and then we'll leave the shop. We get five more... ...things, so... Ooh, there's zero cost move. Ah, uh, let's go for the zero cost move. Especially since it seems to give us treasures. A cool looking figure approaches the crew. In closer inspection, it's Ilmis the Eagle from Constantinople. Just being around such a cool person is pleasantly refreshing. What are you doing here? Well, I don't have a particularly interesting relationship, Ilmis agrees to you politely. Greetings, Earl. I'm sorry I can't stay longer. I have an important mission. Let's exchange some information about this desert, shall we? You learn a bit from each other and then part ways again. She sure is an interesting lady. No! Don't do that! Ooh, a British camp! Thank goodness the crew is running out of steam and could use a break. You want to press a camp, but the guards look on edge. Some diplomacy might allow you to enter their camp. Well, losing is the same as picking this, so we're gonna roll for it. Come on, Ivan! Come on, Ivan! You're, you're a star! Damn it, Ivan! Oh no! The camp leader is not impressed with Ivan's blunt diplomacy and denies you access to the camp. Now you'll have to use extra supplies to keep going. Well, we're gonna have to go here towards these supplies then. The desert is merciless, but sometimes the sands hide something valuable. Trained survivors might it find some solace and wealth. So, Petrinho, go out. Fantastic! With sharp senses and instincts, Petrinho manages to find edible roots and a lost caravan coins. Even the desert drought can't tame Petrinho's survival spirit. So, we get four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and end. Okay, let's go here. A vast open piece of desert without a single spot of shade stands before you. Petrino spots a rock formation miles ahead with a looking glass, probably containing valuables. However, nobody feels like braving this exhausting sea of sand. 
Uh, I don't want to use supplies or the uh, don't want to, yeah don't want to lose supplies so let's just go there here the crew finds a cryptic hieroglyph tablet everyone takes a look at it but comes up with different interpretations oh just take the tablet as something to study because once again I do not want to lose any more supplies yeah we're not gonna get that that is unfortunate a caravan of explorers from the British excavation forces looking to find treasure for the Empire one of the investors seems to have an important document in his possession uh, Yvonne try to steal the document Come on, Yvonne, come on, come on. I know you can do it. Thank you, Yvonne. Yvonne escapes the explorers. Arua, slowpokes. Yvonne makes it with a document and some coins. Right, and then to the end. There it is, the Temple of War. Once you figure out what's going on here, the expedition will come to an end. Yes, onwards. The crew approaches a temple that is in an excellent state. However, the seal has already been removed. Earl tells the crew that the temple is dedicated to Sekhmet, the goddess of war and destruction. The crew carefully approaches the entrance. The following a hallway, the crew arrives at the chamber of war. Sarcophagi as soldiers are aligned against the wall and Stale stands tall in the center. It seems someone has been here before. The crew has no way to continue, so an investigation is started. Campaign or study? Campaign or study? Let's... Actually, let's take campaign now. In the search, Earl approaches the steel and reads it out loud. By decree of segment, only those killed in the art of war may proceed. All of a sudden, a sarcophagus bursts open. It's a mummy general! Beat me in a game of war, O living thing, and prove your worth. Soldier figurines start moving across the floor, which reveals itself to be a map of Lower Egypt. A game of war is about to begin. Uh, let's see, what are our chances here? 42 on second thought. That wants to talk with the general. 56 on second thought. No time for games, force your way in. Let's see what this does. You have no time for silly games. There is someone in this temple as we speak. Yvonne finds a hollow wall and Earl orders everyone to demolish it and charge through. The general is first. You are very unworthy. A curse will rest on you for the remainder of your days. Whatever, general toilet paper. You charge in, but Earl feels something is wrong. Oh no, I wonder what the curse actually does. The crew now moves on through a long and dark hallway. The crew can only see ahead with the flaming light of their torches. Wall paintings describe locations where offerings were brought to Sekhmet in order to win her favor in war. You have a feeling you're missing on something here. So, so much information to sell. At least 30 minutes passed. The crew walked down a long, very long corridor. Padrino feels very uncomfortable in this enclosed dry place, but Earl bolsters the crew's will to carry on. Then you hear some noises in the distance. You find a new room, sacred ground that got a second. The room is lit red with the oddest light and filled with ancient treasure. At last, war rises again! Oh no! The incarnation of Sekhmet stands before you. Finally, I am whole again! First, I need to repay my debt. The goddess of war has been called to wage war against the enemies of her followers. You, now, bow down to me or be the first ones to fall. Engage! Inconvincible. Receive 11 or less speech damage from a single ability. Uh, I think that we can do, because these guys aren't that strong. Ha, uh, so, we want to end this aggressively, of course, but for that, so, we need to, hmm, well, we need to get rid of these other guys here, somehow. Okay, Pedrino, come here, excite this one out of here. Okay, uh, Yvonne, oh, can't really get far enough, neither can Earl. Well, let's just go to these healing spots. Stay here. Uh, this guy will attack Pedrinho, but I'm pretty sure he should be doing less than 11 damage. If they're friendly, they, I feel like that means that it should be speech damage that they're trying to do, but then again, I mean, they do the friendly hug. Oh, and it was 13 damage anyways. Oh, it's not a friendly hug. Okay, Pedrinho... Wait, why can't... Oh, right, because your speech is down. Oh, and we don't have anything to tri move, change your... Oh, crap. Oh, crappity crap -ity crap Do you want to go hostile? No, if we go hostile immediately, she'll change to her hostile form as well. Uh, Okay. Let's group insult. Okay, we gotta go hostile. There's just no other choice here. Uh, can you go here and group insult all three here? Yes, you can. Uh, do you know... 
Yeah, okay, don't don't start with that. We're gonna have Earl start with the experimentation. If we put you here, Earl, can you hit all three? Yes, you can. So we'll do that. Good amount of damage there. Yeah, Bastard is transforming. Right. Mm, oh, well, it's the fact that she gets so much armor when she turns into this mode that is the annoying thing. Also, crap. Okay, Pedrinho, you just need to come here and heal. Because this guy, yeah, this guy can't get to you. And you can't finish him up in one turn, so there's no point in even trying. Okay, and Pedrinho, now you gotta start trying to finish this guy off here. Uh, Earl, do the strike of fear to these two. Okay, can Bassett get to us? She's got three moves. Yeah, she can get to Earl, so... Ooh, that means we need to boot Yvonne here. Oh no, oh no. Mm, uh, we don't want to do this yet because this pulls... Yes, this heals her, so we don't want to do that just yet. Oh, we could sadden that guy out of here. Are you easily saddened? I mean, not... Not easily, but it does some damage to you, so let's start with that. Right, you have the double Saturn. How did I not remember that immediately? And gives us more grit. Okay, so good, so good, so good. Wait, so our grit is 98. Come on! <laughs> we should be getting that thing. Come on, you gotta... Yes, thank you. Oh my, how good, how good, how good. So, Yvonne, we're gonna have you run here, do the deride on her. <laughs> yep, she's foaming with rage. Earl, shoot her and... Actually, no, don't do that. Pedrinho, come here first and punch her. I'll kick her, you kick. And then... Earl, shoot her. And let's hope that's enough points to get us to aggressive. 14 points, yeah, it seems to be. Oh, but yeah, we'll forget about that. Well, doesn't matter. Winning is more important here, I think. Uh, it's enough! It is clear I'm not really here to raise war and curses over your kin. I need to rest another 4,000 years. A god defeated! Speech defense permanently increases, that, that would say. And she disappears. When everything clears up, it seems she has left something behind. A mask of pure gold and precious metals. So, segment mask. Ooh. We'll take the four treasure hunts. We need the money. As you pick up the mask, the temple starts shaking. This whole goddess running thing has left the temple dead and said, The temple is collapsing. You're running out of time. Earl refuses to leave without some of the treasures. Oh. Unbelievable! The crew is about to run when Yvonne looks back. Earl is mesmerized by the treasure. Yvonne can't leave Earl behind and goes back. Is that treasure really worth your life? After Yvonne throws a punch to snap Earl out of it, the whole crew starts running. But not without Earl smuggling some gold. Run! Oh no! You are trapped! You almost made it out while leaving spoils behind, but the engines collapse in front of you. Pedrinho is starting to panic. Are you stuck here for the rest of your life? That's when a huge stream drill opens the engine. Who's that? Rivalu! Oh hello! Don't you know this place isn't safe for amateurs? Earl is more frustrated than lead at being saved by your rival. We will continue. I'm here to investigate the sinister group called the Anti-Explorers. Have you seen anything? Nope. We all isn't expected that. Of course not. You're a rookie. Stupid of me to ask. However, I fear they pose a threat to all of us. He then continues in a lighter tone. I'll handle this matter myself. Now why are we still here? This place has been explored. Let's move out. To London! Okay, ooh, Dazzling Expedition. Wonder what that actually means. You dazzled the world by gaining 20 porcelain points in as one single expedition. Nice. The show off is at it again. This time, the Emperor awarded Rivlo more honorary titles because he built orphanages in Shanghai, London, and Rio with his very own hands and money. All kids want to be like him. 
Seems like orphans these days want to be annoying when they grow up. You're kidding, right? Lin Tong, who was having around with Pinkerton, was hanging around with Pinkerton, and presents to you a new opportunity. If you refrain from doing three star or less expeditions, the Emperor will reward you a challenger title. It might close the gap really a bit. What do you say? I'll take the challenge. It's not like I'm going to any three level things anyway. Very well. Good luck, brave explorers. Let's go. No time to lose. And we can open Entourage Hall in Constantinople, or we can open new jobs in Timbuktu. Let's just open Entourage Hall in Constantinople. And trinket collector. Buy one trinket item with a cost of at least 100, 250 gold. Okay, so, well, first of all, let's spend some research. Should we take this? What are we going to be collecting? Gold? Probably. Uh, we can, like, maybe get one or two, so... Oh, this is why we got so little inside. I usually go for this, and th that's why I have so much inside. Extra tool would might be nice. The reason for encounter doesn't really matter. We don't think we're going to nature challenges or wood challenges that often. <clears throat> Let's unlock the anthropology. And oh, we don't have enough. Okay. <sighs> Should have. If I'd known how much the next is gonna cost. So we're gonna use one inside here. And we are going to finish this. And where are we gonna go, mostly? I don't know, let's say a technique challenge. Right, and let's have gold will acquire us more renown. Right, uh, what's the new entourage we, place we opened? Was, it's Turkish pot baths, I think, so specialists. Engineer piloting! Yes, yes. Earl! Earl will learn engineer piloting! Which takes us here. Okay. They're probably gonna get that though. Uh, okay, what does this... Damage taken from terrified speeches, damage taken from impressed speeches increase. Ooh, horrifying. Uh, Right, let's see if there are other people who will give us uh, more engineer steam engines, but we already have steam engines. Uh, the Turks bath, anyone else give us? No. And we didn't have anyone here who would give us more engineering. No. Okay, so maybe we need to start thinking about other things we need there then. Uh, okay, let's... So, right. Here we have tactician. A couple of people have tactician. Wait, 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 wait. We need something that gives more grit. Uh, what gives the grit? Beguiler survivalist. Give grit for sure. I wonder if quick thinker gave grit. I don't remember, and I don't really want to try just for that. Okay. So let's see if we got anyone. Oh, right. You're just the people who give stuff for doing encounters in a particular way. Uh, Rogue! Wait, did Rogue give a grit? I feel like that gives grit. Two grit, okay. So we could get some more grit from there. And there's survivalist hunting. Do you have hunting? You do not have hunting. So how much is it going to cost us to upgrade this? Uh, okay, we're going to upgrade this once. Then we're going to go get some more camp campaigns or status. Uh, should probably use Earl for this. Let's see if there's anything else that would like strangely give us more more or status. Like that would give us the most status, but Earl would give us more stuff. So, okay. And we really just need a little bit of status right now. Okay, was it in Madrid? No, it was in the Turkish baths. Uh, or how much would it cost to go all the way here? 80, then probably like a hundred. Okay, can't get to that. So we'll take Ibrahim Izbat and we'll give Rogue Merciless to Pedrinho just to increase his grit. We need 12 more. Okay. Uh, are there any 
trinkets that give uh, like extra grip. <sighs> if I just remember what Quick Thinker gave, I mean, I know I could just go online and check it, but that's you know not really my style. Uh, wait, there was some survivalist, survivalist hunting. That would cost 100. Mm, okay, let's. Uh, I'm kind of thinking about the boots here as well. The master boots. Oh, you already have master boots. Adventurer boot. Adventure boots. 25 grit. That's 10 more grit. Which isn't enough to go all the way. Uh, what did the secret shop have? This would give you enough rogue, but that's for speech. Uh, okay, you have a grit. Just any of these. Okay, that would give tactician. I don't think tactician gives grit, though. No. Ooh, so that doesn't help. Uh, the epic boots. Holy crap. How can we get. Can we. Uh, 1,500. We only need 60. Uh, 63, 63, okay, Earl! Come on, give us some extra money. This is probably a bad idea to use all of our money to buy some boots for. Oh, it was in the secret shop. Yeah, boots for. Oh, we could have just sold the, these boots, but yeah. We're giving him the epic rogue boots! Like, all of these give uh, uh, 40 grit. But this give rogue mischief and oh, all right. I was like, oh, you already have it. No, that's merciless. Just both start with M. So yeah, but you know, new boots for you. Ninety-five grit. Okay, got that. What's the next level? Ninety, got that too. Okay, we still have some money, though, uh, if we, all right, you have this thing, I have completely forgotten about that, that's plus five grit, mm. okay, that's all grit, so we probably can't get anything else, we should probably buy a trinket for someone, though, just, just to get that thing, what would we want to give someone, Yvonne? Wasn't there something that gave a beguiler thing? Incredible Rose. Uh, yeah, Seduction, Beautiful Smile. Sure, we'll upgrade that. We'll give you the Rose. And that's all the money we got. <laughs> that's all. The okay. So, choose our next expedition. If there's the Anagagi Archipelago, I mean, it's beaten me every time I've gone there. It has defeated me, the Anagagi Archipelago. The Emerald Island, if I remember correctly, it's really hard to beat the boss with just aggressive things, but we do have a pretty good team to be both aggressive and non-aggressive. Transylvania, what were you easily... Oh, right, let's, not, let's look at the curse here. Terrified, I think they're too terrified there, so we might... <sighs> What's our speech defenses? 49, you get that massive amount of grit, which makes you dodge 50% of attacks. Yvonne doesn't really have any good defense. Oh man, we should really would have, should have bought some defense for Yvonne. Okay, if we just go to the Anagogic Archipelago and avoid the epic encounters, we might be able to do this. So yeah, let's go to the Anagogic Archipelago next time, but that's gonna be next time and this one's gonna end here. I'm a cop. This has been Renowned Explorers International Society with the Emperor's Challenge DLC. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.